Oh, next question is from Gage and American saying, Armin, has the truck protests in Ottawa affected you in any way? And also thoughts on the individualistic European and ex-European colonies having anti-mask slash vaccine protests versus collectivist Asian democracies like Taiwan, Korea, South Korea, and Japan not having these protests. Any opinions on the best way to have an individualistic culture uh, learn about collective responsibility? I thought this was a very interesting question, but it's insanely complex. Well, I have all the answers. Don't worry. Oh boy. <laughs> Give First it to of us. all, no. I, I, I live online, so it doesn't affect me at all. Um, but okay, so First of all, let me just tell you, the, the, the protesters are pure cringe, okay? Like they are, the mandates were a good idea. Canada did a very good job at um, vaccinating everybody. And did we overdo the mandates? I hope so. I got, I sure hope so, okay? Like between underdoing them and overdoing them, like when it comes to pandemic, like I hope like we overdo them. I, I hope every time we face a, another virus like this, that we overdo them instead of underdoing them. Okay. We don't know how goddamn we don't know if this is like, oh, just a, like another disease or the end of civilization as we know it. We can't wait until it comes across and decide, like, oh, what would be the exact right measure to take? Okay. Like after the fact. Okay. Like, is it possible? Like now we're like, oh, the masks were too much. Oh, some of the some of the quarantine, some of the closing of the businesses, some of the not traveling was too much. Oh, we were right. Were you right? Now you know. I we wouldn't know. How could we know if something like this is unleashed on Earth on the planet? I'm pretty sure that it makes a lot more sense to to take it to be on the safe side, be on the conservative side, and go extra like, you know, like we don't want to discover that we should have done more. We want to always discover that it would have made more sense to do less, okay? Because you're never going to get it exactly right. You're never going to be on the spot, okay? You're never going to be like, oh my God, we did exactly what we were supposed to do. That's never going to happen, okay? So when it comes to saving the planet, okay, I don't care that some people are like, oh, I can't go to the restaurant or oh my God, this mask is so inconvenient. Oh my God, I lost my... Um, a, a source of income. Or yeah, well, as, as opposed to like, I don't know, risking the entire goddamn planet. I don't, I don't care. Okay. I mean, I care, but like not as much as I care about the other things. Okay. So the protests are pure cringe. Okay. Pure, pure cringe. However, um, however, what's more cringe is the response by the government. You're shutting down people's bank accounts. Are you, are you serious? Okay, so this is like this goes into this the same category of I don't I, I don't like what the hell you're protesting for. In fact, I think there should have been like I think Canadians should be happy with the how their government dealt with the you had I think the Canadians should be grateful to the should have been grateful upon this what happened just recently. Okay, Canada was one of the best performing countries when it comes to vaccine rates and everything. Okay. Everything they did, like they were ahead of everybody else. Okay. So one, not everybody else, but one of the leading countries. Okay. So they did a very good job in responding to the, to the, to the pandemic. However, as much as I don't like what you, what these protests stands for. And, and I think like, it's like the vast majority of these people in these, in these protests are like science denier, conspiracy theory loons. And I don't like, don't like these people and i don't like what i mean i don't like what their their ideology i don't like what they stand for i don't like what they think i don't like their conclusions however i do have this habit of defending protests as long as they're not aggressive and as long as they're not like harming other people okay so if they are harming other people if they're causing other people um misery or like shutting causing people's businesses to shut down and like noise pollutions or stuff like that i'm in favor of sending in i don't know the military or whatever to just make sure the bridges are open and that people are not being harmed i'm, I'm completely okay with that but i am definitely definitely against like these anti-protest -pro measures that the canadian government is taking like what are we what the hell like what is it? Like, this is the superiority of United States compared to Canada. You could just walk it. You could just shut. You could just close people's bank accounts. You could like 
tell every single financial institution not to do business with them, not to lend to them, shut down their fundraising. What on earth is happening? Is this like, are you trying to make the cringiest people in the, on the planet, turning them into heroes? What are you doing? Oh, like, this straight is like, up. Yeah, like what is what on earth is happening? Like I didn't know my government can do stuff like this. Like what this is like I have never been more anti-Trudeau in my entire life, right? Like I have been supporting of I have been defending Trudeau over so many different things, okay? I thought so many people were being, were being unfair to him on so many different beyond his just like pro, you know, anti some some anti-free speech just like words that he used, I was against that. Some um, ex making excuses for Islamism, I was against that. But overall, I think his performance was amazing. But now I'm like, what? This is like, by Canadian standards, this is like, by North American standards, this is like the highest level of tyranny I've ever seen. Like, you could, like, there, you, you, the, Trudeau is like, yeah, like shut, shutting down their accounts and also telling every single other financial institution that you could be, you, you could, you, you will be pay the price if you do uh, any form of like, they're not even defining what level of involvement with any, who's, a, who's defined as one of the protesters and what level of financial involvement with them would be considered something that is penalized, uh, uh, that you could penalize them for. And so what do you think businesses are going to do? They're going to be completely conservative. Guys, this is, I don't know, this is like some, I don't want to act like one, one of these right-leaning stuff that everything looks like 1984 to them. It's like a, if they get a, like a, if they're all seat bulls, oh my God, 1984. Oh my God, I have to wear a mask, 1984. Oh my God, I got a speeding ticket, 1984. I don't want to act like one of those guys. But if anything is like, could be like, oh my God, this is 1984. Your your bank account being shut down by the government because you're protesting. Protesting? Are you serious? Protesting is like getting the government to like shutting down your bank account and seizing all your assets. This is like anybody that is on, on the side of enlightenment values and freedom and freedom of assembly and freedom of speech and freedom of holding the government accountable. They should be like, what? It, they should be against this. Like they, Like, I don't care how what side of the protest you are i'm against these protesters i'm against everything th that these protests represent and your i have been now i'm being forced into defending them because you're shutting down their fucking bank accounts are, are you serious this is like not a, is, is canada supposed to be a liberal country that where people people's right to protest is is defended and people's right like what like their right to assembly okay if you're if they're if they're holding bridges and if they're causing problems, send in the military. Don't don't shut down the entire protest. You have to facilitate areas for them to be able to protest. You could be like, you could be like stopping them. Like they did, they opened the bridge with military. No need. They you don't need to freeze people's bank accounts. Like what is this? I don't know. What do you think, Susanna? Um, so I kind of haven't been paying attention to the truckers' protests for the majority of it going on, just because. Um, you know, I have a certain amount of bandwidth that I can devote towards paying attention to the millions of things happening around the world. And, you know, for the majority of it, this didn't pass my threshold, something to pay attention to. I was aware of and I kind of tune in, but not like really tracking the details. Um, but this latest development, invoking emergency powers to completely circum circumvent due process, yeah. For any given individual, it's freaking insane. And I completely yeah. agree with you. Like everyone, I mean, okay, so I, you know, browse Twitter and I see a lot of Canadians on Twitter like getting angry at Americans who are getting outraged about this because they're like, this isn't your country. And, you know, this is good because our lives are getting affected by this and they don't have the right to like mess up our economy and all this stuff. Like, I'm not going to. So the impression I've been getting from Twitter, which is not representative of people at all, is that Canadians themselves are like, yeah, like, just do it. Or there's like the very right wing Canadians, and they seem to be the only ones who are like throwing up their arms about this. But I don't know what the actual mood in the country is, because regardless of what side of the aisle you're on, or I don't know if that's how you talk about it in, in Parliament, I don't know what you do over there, but... <laughs> um, like, you should be freaking outraged about this. This is insane. Um, it, I completely agree with Armin in terms of like this, if, if you have 
uh, a value or you should be defending enlightenment values. And this completely flies in the face of that. Um, and I agree with the fact that the sentiment that this is suddenly giving legitimacy to all these protests, you know, they were calling it the freedom convoy. And Armin said, you know, like, it's very cringy to be asking like a public health mandate is like this freedom thing. But now this development really is a freedom issue. It truly is. Um, so now you're just validating and giving them legitimacy and urgency. Um, mm. I hope yeah, there guys. has to be legal challenges to this, not let alone like all of a sudden any insurance you have on your own vehicle that you privately own, your private property, any insurance you have on it is now revoked. It's invalid. Like, it's it's insane. They um, shut down their fundraising. And now they're warning. There's, they're, there's, they're warning every other form of, uh, form of fundraising. Like, guys, like, this is beyond. Okay, so people are like, oh, but they're, but they're blocking this and blocking that. Well, send it the military, okay? And every time they're causing, like, they're like they're blocking access to like hospitals or clinics. Well, you need you need to be more like you know, send in the military and open those routes. Like, oh, they're they're blocking this bridge and people are like losing. Well, send in the military and open the bridge, okay? You should the gov. That's what the government should have the authority to do. That's what the government rules is. The government shouldn't have an authority to decide who's like sending you money and sees your bank account. That should not be a power. Like this is like really insane level of government info. Like guys, I'm not. I'm not on the side of these protesters. Okay, but part of part of being in favor of liberalism and enlightenment values means respecting the rights of people's protests, even if they're protesting for things that you're against. That's the whole point of being a liberal. Okay. It doesn't mean like, Oh yeah, I defend freedom of speech and people's rights to assembly and protest only when they agree with me, only when they're on my side. Okay. These people are definitely not on my side. I, I support the protest. Okay. I support the vaccines. I support the mandates. I think the mandates should have gone a lot higher higher and a lot earlier a lot earlier okay a lot of the mandates become a lot less influential because they were added later than they should have been okay apparently okay i don't know i'm not an expert okay um so this is what i've i've been hearing some experts say okay don't take anything i'm saying uh, uh, when it comes to uh, health related stuff um seriously okay but anyways even though these people are, um and guys oh, look, look at the question okay so um Gajun american is saying um yeah so this is the cost of this is the cost of individualism that you have to accept okay when you cut when you don't have when you don't hold people collectively responsible and make them act like a collective there's going to be a lot of individuals who do not act the way you like okay so people are like oh my god yeah we are promoting individualism and people are not hold, being all responsible and like f towards the main towards the one direction that that they should be moving at, right in times like this collectivism might seem attractive okay but this don't be fooled okay because collectivism um when even if like at times like this you were wishing that more people would just accept the narrative and just move in the direction where everything would be productive that kind of attitude once it takes hold in a society it will be misused in <laughs> it will be misused in the form of hold, making the entire collective move entire in directions that are very costly to individual liberties um but the collective doesn't care. The collective is just doing what it's being told. And the collective is doing what is supposed to be responsible. The collective is just doing its duty to maintain the peace and just being um, just being a little good boy, just being submissive and just be like, I've been told what to do. OK, I'm just going to do this. And just like, I'm just going to do it because, you know, Big Daddy government told me to do it or Big Daddy like religion or whatever told me to do it. And I'm just like, I'm just not, I'm just going to accept what I'm told because this is this, I'm just this is how what being a good boy is like okay so <laughs> promote so when you and and then when you do that when that with that kind of ideology is promoted with collectivism is promoted then what's going to happen is that that's governments when they have the power over like whether an ideology or a government has a power over a collective they will misuse it right they will misuse it not in favor of a, the individual at the cost to an individual in favor of themselves right so 
but then when you promote individualism, you're going to see a whole bunch of people acting in a way that you don't like. And you're like, hmm, maybe a collective would have, maybe collectivism would be better. Okay. No. Okay. This is the price we pay. We let the cringiest people have free speech. We let the most insane people do protests for things that are dangerous. Okay. But we have to deal with it. Okay. As an, as when, when all of us as individuals are do are moving, you know, we, what you do is you, you try to push for education. Yeah. Here's a good government role. You just try to equipped the individual with better critical thinking skills with better knowledge okay so don't go for a collective over individual just strengthen the individual okay because when you have a very aware and educated and critical individual then even though each every individual is you know moving independently from other the net benefit of that is going to be better even though at times you're going to look at certain individuals and you're going to be like i wish there was a sense of duty involved i wish we had a collective i wish people were just more submissive and accepted these rules because it's better for all of us I, yeah these are the costs we, we pay okay but it's worth it it's worth it we have the stats we have the data that shows that individualism succeeds even though at times it backfires even though at times we have like a whole bunch of cringy people go anti-science people protesting you defend their rights to protest even though we don't like their what their views is you 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 stand your ground you protect the values that you know have shown historically to make societies better individualism right to protest freedom of speech limited government okay by limited government i don't mean no government the government has a responsibility to send in the military and make sure free trade is happening the all the roads are open access to clinics and hospitals are access you know are not uh, disrupt none of that is disrupted people are not suffering for no noise pollution and other stuff like that send in the military the government should not have the authority to shut down people's right to protest by freezing their goddamn assets are you fucking serious are you is this canada or is this the islamic republic of iran is this china what is this what the fuck is this this is a liberal country that your assets can be frozen because you're protesting this is insane you should be against this i completely agree um I think I saw a, another question sometime today where someone was saying, like, given what's happening in Canada with the reaction to these um, uh, truckers' protests, why are they not um, being taking a hit in their democracy index, you know, along the lines of other countries like India or other countries that do these same kind of things? Well, the short answer to that would be, like, this happened very recently, and de those democracy index indexes are evaluated you know on like an annual basis or even longer so it just it's not an immediate like this event happened in your country minus five points no <laughs> this is like an annual review Victor, Bikram, so it's okay to use um, mm -hmm. so he's saying so it's okay to use the military but not okay to block their bank account use the military for what are you going to use the military to just make sure there's no protest? Then no, you can't use the military for that. Are you going to use the military to make sure that um, that trade routes are open and access to um, essential care, like hospitals and stuff, are not disrupted? Then that's an okay use of a military, okay? But you can't you can't use n neither the military or freezing of people's assets to shut them up. You can't, you shouldn't use the military or the bank freezing of assets. You shouldn't, the government should have an, okay, guys, the freezing of people's assets is actually a lot more scarier than sending in the military, okay? This is like a very silent, this, this, you know, way of like completely taking people's, at least when you send the goddamn military, you could watch it on TV and be like, okay, what's happening? Are you, you're taking people's rights away? If you just like, oh, you're, you, you're, you're one of the protesters. Oh, like, just like every, you lost everything. Whoop. Just like everything. Like, you know how scary it is? At least I could see a goddamn soldier coming at me, <laughs> right? I, you know, like, at least I could walk away when it comes to a soldier. A soldier, like, comes in and, like, hey, like, hey, move, empty this area. I'm just like, okay, like, I don't want this level of risk. I'm just going to, this This is not what I sign up for. I could just walk away, right? But taking someone's assets away, this is, you know, f at, at least there's a cost for the government to be, like, sending some troops there to just maintain the peace or whatever, Okay when the government has the authority to just like wipe away everything you own or just make it impossible for you to do trades with other people that's just like with no cost to the government you could just 
the, you're giving God level power of control to the government because with like just a, a signing of a paper, you, they could silence you. That's a level of authority and a level, a level of control that everybody should be scared of any government happy, having. Because if the government can do that, they, they don't even need a military. They could ruin your entire life without even sending any troops. They could the level of the, the level of you're 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 a complete puppet. You're like nothing. You have like you have chains all over you. If with like with just a decision, any they could just make your every your your you every, all the tools that you have to maintain your life, to support your children, support your family, to buy food, to to be to be able to live. If if any government with one with like this, they could make it make that all disappear. Then every time you think you have free speech. You have to understand that you have free speech only because the government finds your speech not costly enough to them. Because at any point of time, they could decide that you're too much of a hassle to them and they could just like sh shut you up without even sending the police, without even putting you in jail, just making life entirely, your entire life just disappear right in front of you. Do you know how scary that is? Do you know how much more scarier that is than, than, than a military, like facing a military, when the government could just silently make you submit to them? If anybody is not upset about this, you, then you are not a liberal. Okay. If anybody is not against this, you do not withhold. You do. You are not inside of Enlightenment values, and you're not a liberal. Okay. I I, I do think like a lot of right leaning people are use this line of like, oh my God, this is tyranny, tyranny too often. Okay. As as soon as the government enforces anything, they'll be like, oh my God, tyranny. Okay. So I was like, throughout this entire pandemic, I was laughing at them. I was like, this is not tyranny. We have a goddamn pandemic. Our seat felt, our seat felt tyranny right now. Like, you don't have a right to spread disease. I'm sorry. You don't have the right to spread disease. This is not tyranny, okay? So I was in favor of all the government, like, mandates and everything. I was like, you're, I, I, I felt they were not going enough. I was in favor of, like, forced vaccines, okay? Like, I was in favor of sending in the military and vaccinating everybody, okay? That's how much I'm in favor of government. Oh, my God. A, <laughs> no, but, okay, so because, like, hey, you don't, you, you don't, you, you don't have the right to like smoke and like puff it into my fucking face. You don't have the like, yeah, you have the right to smoke, but you don't have the right to to spread that to me, okay? So you don't have the same right with 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 goddamn viruses. That's why I was in favor of like, that's not a right that you can enjoy, okay? So I was like I'm not I'm not one of those people that just shouts out tyranny every time the government does something. But this is now all of a sudden this is like Make makes me like now all of a sudden like I'm gonna sound like one of those right leaning people, cringy right right leaning people because I'm calling I'm calling this shit tyrannical. Okay, this is right. This is tyranny. Okay, I mean not full on tyranny, by the way. Oh my god. Yeah, and people in the live chat are commenting about like the precedent that it sets. It's very dangerous. Yes. Yes, because if from now on, because right now. Uh, everybody was like, well, this has happened before, and apparently it hasn't. They're lying, right? But now, from now on, if it happens, they could say that. Apparently, this is a line that everybody accepts because if, like, if the government wants to do shit like this, like, right now, uh, from now on, if there was a precedent, people keep throwing that ar around as if, like, it makes it okay. Well, like, we have we have precedent for this. We have done this before. So from now on, because we have we have set a precedent, that line of reasoning is going to be a lot more acceptable to people. Well, we have this. We have done this before. Jesus Christ! Great, great. Now this is the new normal. God damn it, guys! Make sure that this is like. Please help by making by by making this a little bit less normal by like screaming about it or something. Right? Like be like, holy crap! What the hell? This is Canada, not not like China. Please stop. Okay. You th you thought you heard honking before? Now you're gonna hear just screaming in the street. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, secular Sakai sent us a manual super chat by donating to our GoFundMe. <laughs> thank you. Oh, thank you, secular Sakai. <laughs> That's so sweet. Um. If Wait. anyone else wants to donate to us, you can donate to our fundraiser that goes towards our legal expenses regarding our precarious situation in India right now. You can find more information yeah. about that on the GoFundMe page, or you can donate to our PayPal. Uh, or you can join us on Patreon, where you will become a priority patron if you uh, want your questions answered first and ensure that your questions are answered, even if you can't attend live. 
um, during our Q&As, and you also get our sexy, sexy Blasphemous art, all for as little as $1 a month. So link for all those things in the description. Um, it helps us so much. We wouldn't be able to do what we do without the support of people um, in our audience. It does make a, a huge difference. Not so to thank you, Secular government. Sakai. No to the Canadian government. This fundraiser that we have is under our U.S. entity. Okay, so even though I am against what the Canadian government is doing right now, and don't freeze our bank accounts, don't freeze the fundraiser. Okay, I like I know as a you Canadian, have no authority defending. here. This is not yes. your jurisdiction. And, and it was it was Susanna who opened the fundraiser. I know I'm a Canadian, but Susanna is an American, so do not touch our fundraiser. Thank you very much, Canadian government. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. This we could talk about this for a long time because this yeah. whole trucker situation is crazy. Um yeah, good job like aligning every well, everyone who has a freaking backbone along with these people when they didn't have a stake in it before. Nice. Guys, just like just got just like we defend Muslims when they're right when people are like are violating their rights, that doesn't mean we agree with Islam, okay? So that means that also with these protesters, even though we, we disagree with most like 99% of what the, these protests are about, um, we are we have to defend the right to protest as long as like, yeah, and people are going to be like, but they're blocking this and causing problem there. Okay, those, again, that's what the government should come in, send in the military, those specific areas where it's causing other people like a lot of hardship, those specific things should be solved with the use of a military, okay? But the, but that should only happen if you could provide like if you the the protest can continue like you should be able like the the these events should not be as an used as an excuse not to um to to make it impossible for the for the protest to exist at all the protest should be able to exist that's what the military should the, the, you know the military should do very surgical it should not come to shut down the protest it should just be able to come they have to provide major, an alternative that would provide be the standards of legality yeah exactly they have to and so actually and by the way, i don't know if they have to because this is in america you guys don't have the first amendment yeah, sorry this is, yeah by the way some form of hardship should be accepted because that's the nature of protests okay like every protest will cause some pain it shouldn't just be it shouldn't just be pain to the level of like i can't reach the hospital okay it shouldn't be the pain in the form of like okay everything the the entire economy is like shutting down okay like like businesses are failing like like some form of like i mean if we if we want to say like no economic hardship okay well then we're just saying to no to no to protest like we're we're saying no mm -hmm. to um the, the protest like we're saying to protest against apartheid in, in South, <laughs> South Africa. We should be like, oh yeah, that was like economic hardship. We, no BLM? We, 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 <laughs> no BLM, no, none of this. None of like what protests would not have economic hardship? I think like there's certain level be like, okay, this is too much. People's lives are being destroyed to, to a level that is like unbelievable. I think that is- There was a lot should... of that during the BLM protests. How many videos did we see of people yeah. literally jumping on top of ambulances and they can't move forward when people try to well, be transported? Are, that is we unacceptable. Are in favor, so we are in favor of making a higher level of pr police presence to, to stop that, for the protest to continue, but the economic hardship to be reduced. But I'm just saying, even though we're in, in favor of reducing the economic hardship, you cannot expect no economic hardship, okay? I mean, part of the pressure from part of the power of protest in holding the governments accountable is to be able to inflict on the government, on the, on the government, some economic cost. Okay, that's how protest works, right? So there needs to be a cost. Again, even though we don't agree with these protests, we can't just be like, oh yeah, we we have to, we have like we would be in favor of protests that are that are fighting for something that we believe in by by. Mm, forcing some cost to the government, economic hardship on the, on 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 everybody. Uh, if it was in our favor, we would be like, yeah, this is how protests work. So we would be defending that. So why would we not defend the right to protest in the same way if it's on the other side? I just think like there's a line that you shouldn't be crossing, but I don't know where that line is exactly. But I think I don't think like we should expect no economic hardship. That's too much. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. 
We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.